Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Randolph Engineering Archer sunglasses. But first off, we thank our very generous sponsor for today's video, ShadeReviewStore.com, my own website, where we sell designer brands up to 80% off the MSRP. We're talking brands like Oliver Peoples, Personal, Ray-Ban, and many, many, many more. Again, that is ShadeReviewStore.com. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These frames have 63 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge, but this is the large size of the sunglasses. Randolph also does produce these with 59 millimeter lenses in a regular size, which is probably going to be best for the average person. With the larger 63 millimeter lens size on my face, they definitely offer that more bold and oversized styling, which I actually kind of really do like for these frames. That's why I went ahead and sized up to the 63, but I I guarantee you I could totally pull off the regular size, which is 59 millimeters as well. And I believe if you probably ask, you know, nine out of 10 people, which looks better on my face, they'd probably say that the 59 millimeter looks best on my face because it's going to fit a little bit better and be a little bit more proportional. But if you're looking for a really cool pair of oversized Randolph sunglasses, I really do like the 63. And you know, that's just a personal preference thing. And that's why I went ahead and picked up the 63 millimeter lens size. I really do like the, you know, oversized and bold styling of these frames. Now a little bit of information here about these frames. Uh, the Archer is actually named after a ballooning pioneer, Samuel Archer King. The Archer here featured this sporty dipped brow bar with wraparound lenses that cover a wider range of face shapes compared to their classic aviator. And that's directly from Randolph themselves. They believe that the Archer actually are going to fit uh, more people than the aviator. And you know, I'm not quite sure if I agree with that, uh, but they definitely do offer very good styling and I do really like uh, the dipped brow bar here. It definitely adds, you know, some more interesting style to them. These frames definitely offer better coverage from the sun compared to the Randolph Aviator. So here up top we can see there is much less of a gap than an original Aviator. And then here on the sides again there is much smaller gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. So these frames are definitely more practical and maybe that's what Randolph is referring to when they say these sunglasses fit a wider range of people's faces. Now the current time of filming this video, Randolph only produces the Archer with their Skyforce nylon lenses, which are extremely lightweight, but there is no glass lens option for the Archer again as I film this video. But of course, that definitely could change. So make sure to head over to their website once you're done watching this video and check out current pricing and availability. And you can kind of take a look at the different colorways and the lens options as well. That might change in the future, but it also might not. Now, of course, just like on every pair of Randolph sunglasses, the lenses are going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays, which is extremely important to your eye health. And these frames also have this really nice anti-reflective material, which really helps reduce sunlight coming in at an angle and bouncing off the lens and going directly into your eyes. So that's really nice to see that really nice anti-reflective material on the back side of the frames. Now these frames, just like every pair of Randolph sunglasses, are handcrafted in America. And there's actually over 200 individual steps that go into the process of making a pair of Randolph sunglasses, which is absolutely crazy. The attention to detail here is very, very good. And the build quality in these frames is really nice as well. Of course, they have all metal hinges and they feel really, really good when opening them up and when closing them. They also have fully adjustable nose rests, which are very comfortable on the nose as well. And these frames also feature this really nice skull ear rest, which fit really good behind the ear. Unfortunately, Randolph, as a film this video again, don't offer any bayonet temple options for the Archer. I think that'd be really cool if they did bring a bayonet temple uh, to these frames. But overall, I think it's a really fantastic pair of sunglasses. The build quality is definitely really, really good. And it's a very interesting shape that I really like that you don't see a lot of people wearing, which is cool as well. Now, these sunglasses do have some information uh, etched on the top bar. They see REUSA for authentication purposes. And then on the lower bridge, which is actually curved bridge, which adds a lot of cool style, they say AR6316, which of course stands for the lens size or the bridge width. And they also say Randolph made in USA here in the inner right temple of the frames as well. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you around $280 directly from Randolph website. And I'm going to leave a link description below to their website, which is the absolute best place to buy your pair of Randolph sunglasses to make sure they're real. And of course, to get the warranty and everything like that. So again, I'm going to have a link description below directly to these sunglasses on their website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.